Hi greedy learners, after a long time we are going to solve a full papers video and uh, in this video we are going to solve Cambridge International Mathematics uh, paper 2 component number 2 2 and this is uh, October number 2021 series actually it's a very recent one uh, without any delay we can go into the video let's start solving the problem so yeah here we can see other formula page after crossing all this yes we are reaching the first question here yes let's start work out uh, so it's just simple calculation but we know that bit mass we have to follow so addition and multiplication are the operations before addition we have to multiply it so it is 7 to sort 14 so 3 plus 14 plus 5 uh, it gives 22 as answer yes and next one complete the statement a parallelogram has rotational symmetry of order so parallelogram has rotational symmetry of order 2 and it has no lines of symmetry so maybe you can write no or uh, zero lines since the, uh, there i have mentioned the number here also i can mention the number or you can i can even write it as no okay and next uh, number is greater than one the number is also both a square and cube number so square and the cube number we know that 8 square is 64 and uh, see 8 square is 64 and 4 cube is also 64 so which number is a square and cube number other than 1 it is 64 write down a prime number between 90 and 100 it is very simple it's 97 okay then we have to write the inequality for this uh, the inequality maybe suppose if any eighth grade students are seeing it i'm just writing for them the values are in between minus three to two so i can write minus three and two in the ends and x in the middle because x is the variable going to denote all the values uh, you can see here that uh, the value is greater than minus three and uh, it is not included so minus three less than x and here it is going to be less than or equal to because two is included so this is how we have to write the values uh, maybe individually you might think the values are x greater than negative 3 and x less less than or equal to 2 so both i'm not comparing if, if you are getting a line segment you have to write like this minus 3 and 2 that minimum and then maximum values and x either we are including or not and these symbols are going to remain the same less than only either less than or less than or equal to you have to design let's go to the next one that is just working out the fraction so if we know division i have told in my one of my videos that uh, instead of dividing we have to multiply the reciprocal so it's going to be 9 by 8 and there are no common terms there we to simplify it so directly 3 9s are 27 4 8s are 32 and we can't simplify it further next one is modulus of x less than 2 Modulus of x less than 2 means we have to write all the positive and negative integers. The value shouldn't be equal to 2. So plus 2 and minus 2 uh, we should not write in between that values. It is minus 1, 0, 1 are the values. The next one is the bearing of P from Q is 110 degree. Find the bearing of Q from P. So P from Q, Q from P. I think this is one now I have told you already uh, you just see here if the given value is less than 180 add 180 with it so the answer is going to be 290 suppose if the value is greater than 180 just subtract the 180 either you are going to add or subtract with the existing value that's it it's so simple and right from checkpoint IGCSE 0580067 in all the category these type of questions you can expect uh, p to q q to p which means you just look into the given value if it is less than 180 add 180 if it's greater than 180 subtract 180 yeah let's go to the next one on the diagram sketch uh, the graph of y equal to 1 by x uh, if which means x y equal to 1 it's uh, hyperbola it will be like this not only in the positive side even the negative side it will be like this or uh, you just substitute the values and check what are the two values if x is 1 x is 2 x is 3 so then you'll be getting the same curve similar curve to that
okay ninth one the diagram shows an arc of a circle center o radius r centimeter the length okay arc length is given as k pi r and here all the values are given except to the radius and even in the uh, given value they use that radius as r itself we have to find out the value of k in its simplest form so we can equate theta theta is 40 by 360 into 2 pi r equals to k pi r so what we have to do here we have to simplify the terms pi r and pi r if you simplify it then here 40 and 360 if you simplify you'll be getting in the denominator 9 140 set 40 940 set 360 and that's it in the right side we have only k here we have 2 by 9 so the value of k is 2 by 9 and that's it we can't simplify so we can write that that answer itself next share the region p union q the hold as uh, p union q means this full area the hold as means except that remaining part which means this outer part we have to share actually your uh, sharing should not go in so that's it we did uh, next the Venn diagram shows the number of elements in each region so each are numbers 8 means 8 numbers 9 numbers 10 numbers 11 7 numbers R intersection T dash so what does it mean by R intersection T dash you just forget the whole thing R intersection T dash means if anyone has the dash and the another one is uh, that does not have its normal value which means it's a pure value so they are talking about the pure R here so pure R number of elements in it so number of elements in the pure r is 8 8 don't write it as 1 because 1 actually 8 means 8 number of elements that's what they mentioned it number of elements suppose if they give something a b c so you'll be writing how many elements in it here they mentioned that number as number of elements so that we are writing that as 8 okay uh, next it is use the set notation to describe the shaded region uh, how to write this actually what this part is it is actually pure b as like how i said it's pure r r intersection t dash means pure r q so here they gave pure b pure b means how i should write i should write like a bar r a bar intersection b this is what pure b but actually except that remaining has been shaded so on the whole bar on or on the whole dash i should use it or I can even write this as A dash intersection B the whole dash I should write it um, maybe uh, I can tell you that De Morgan loss if you have the whole dash you can uh, distribute the whole dash to that individual elements which is inside the bracket so that time it will be A double dash intersection will change into union at the time and B dash it will be double dash is nothing but when you are uh, uh, reversing two times it will be as common num same number a union b dash so you can write this as a union b dash or, or, or else you can even write this as uh, as per your understanding you can simply write it as a dash intersection b which is the pure a whole dash you can put so that it refers the same both are correct nothing wrong in it okay next rearrange the formula to make w the subject so only w should be there 2 will go that side it will be 2y square will go that side square root and I told the plus or minus you should use that is the w so w equal to plus or minus square root of 2y is the value next work out the value of 32 power 2 by 5 uh, in I have told uh, when I have solved the previous problems if you have 5 in the denominator of the power then you should take fifth root so fifth root of 32 for that you should take square fifth root of 32 we know 2 power 5 is 32 so fifth root of 32 is 2 so 2 power 2 it is nothing but 4 is the answer then so here we have to calculate x so how are we going to calculate this angle is same as this angle it is 40 as per the alternate segment theorem uh, angle between the tangent and the chord is equal to the angle in the alternate segment if this is uh, 40 then 40 plus 77 it is going to be 117 
and this x is 180 minus 117. That's how we have to calculate because sum of all angles of a triangle is 180. If you do it, you will be getting the answer as 63 degree for x. Yeah, let's proceed to the next. 5 root 5, sorry, root of 125, we can write this as 5 root 5. Um, because this is nothing but 25 into 5. Uh, plus root 80 is 16 into 5, 16 5 is at 80. So, in 16, you can take 4 outside, so it will be 4 root 5. 5 root 5 plus 4 root 5, we know that we have to add these two numbers. It's going to be 9 root 5 is the answer. The next we have to solve. It's very easy. Just uh, cross multiply the two denominators. So it will be 2 into 8 minus x equals 3 into x plus 1. If you expand the bracket, 16 minus 2x is equals 3x plus 3. We can move to the Bubiker coefficient side, so minus 2x will go that side, 3x plus 2x and 16 minus 3. It is 13 and here it is 5x, so x will be 13 divided by 5. Or you can write this fractional value too, it is uh, 2, 2 5 are 10 and 36, you can write. Next to factorize, we can take 3 as common and this way it will be x plus 2. Since I have taken x plus 2 is inside, so here also I should do the same. So let me take uh, 2y as common here. Uh, 2 and y gone, it x alone will remain. And here plus 2 because minus I have taken it out. Now x plus 2, I can take in both the things. So the remaining thing is 3 minus 2y. So it is x plus 2 into 3 minus 2y will come. Next, 3 power x equal to 27 power x plus 2. So, both the base should be same. So, 3 power x equals to 27 is 3 power 3 whole power x plus 2. 3 power 3, uh, when we have two powers, we have to multiply the powers. So, 3 into x plus 2 is 3x plus 6. And this side will be 3 power x. When base is same, power should be same. So, x equal to 3x plus 6. So, I should move this plus 6 here minus 6 plus x to this side it is minus x because pivotal coefficient is that side 3x minus x is 2x that is minus 6 and x is minus 6 by 2 it is minus 3 is the answer yeah let's go to the next one w square minus 9 so this 9 can be written as 3 square a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b so w plus 3 into w minus 3 this one if i factorize 2 w into w and uh, 3 ones are 3 but actually it should be in that alternate side then only i will be getting the answer so 1 3 sub 3 now 2 3 sub 6 6 minus 1 is 5 and uh, this should be minus so the factors are 2w minus 1 into w plus 3. So I will be cancelling out this w plus 3 and w plus 3. Only w minus 3 will remain. So see here, actually for the factorization and simplifying, they have given 4 marks. 2w minus 1 will be remain in the denominator. Okay, the next question is... Uh, I thought that I can do it in a single step because addition addition so multiplying log 48 into 18 divide by this is divide by because it's subtraction and 2 shouldn't be there it should be here so it's going to be 24 power 2 so I'm writing this as 24 into 24 actually I should write this as log 24 power 2 then divided by 24 into 24 I should write so and on both the side log and log we can eliminate and 124 is at 24, 224 is at 48, 122 is at 2, 12 2 is at 24, uh, 26 is at 12, 36 is at 18. So T is 3 by 2 we are getting after all the simplifications. Yes, then 20 the question tan x equal to k so instead of tan x we are going to use k tan 180 minus x tan 180 minus x is second quadrant i told in the second quadrant tan is negative so minus tan x will be writing it 
minus tan x is nothing but k so it's minus k minus k is the answer tan 90 minus x tan 90 minus x means it's changing into first quadrant it is positive but 90 minus is that it will change into it's complementary tan's complementary is cot so cot x we don't have any substitution for cot but cot can be converted as 1 by tan so 1 by tan x tan x is k so 1 by k will be writing as answer here yeah that's it then oh my god yeah it's over that's it yes it's a very easy paper i feel uh, so if you find any other difficult paper please suggest we will work out and see in the next video thanks for watching subscribe to my channel and uh, share with your friends thank you so much